Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, F-15EX successfully completes key testing and evaluation stage, Piper Malibu M-Class Owners and Pilots Association rebrands, German Rotax fly-in sees wide turnout. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. F-15EX successfully completes key testing and evaluation stage. Boeing's F-15EX Eagle II fighter has successfully launched a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground standoff munitions, thereby completing a key testing and evaluation phase, so stated the U.S. Air Force on Wednesday, August 30th. The data resultant of the testing will inform in part the DoD's decision vis-a-vis full-rate production of Boeing's extensively modified, dramatically improved iteration of McDonnell Douglas's battlefield-proven fourth-generation fighter jet. During late August combat hammer exercise in the skies over Utah's Hill Air Force Base, two F-15EX test aircraft undergoing USAF evaluation launched Joint Direct Attack Munitions Guided Small Diameter Bombs. The Joint Direct Attack Munition is a guidance kit by which existing unguided bombs are converted into precision-guided smart munitions. The exercise was carried out by the USAF 53rd Wing, which is based at Florida's Eglin Air Force Base. The 53rd Wing serves as the focal point in electronic warfare, armament and avionics, chemical defense, reconnaissance and aircrew training devices. The wing is tasked also with the operational testing and evaluation of new equipment and systems proposed for use by the service's combat air forces. The 53rd Wing, which consists of four groups, numbers nearly 2,000 military and civilian personnel, spanning 17 U.S. locations. And coming up after the break, Aerox Aviation O2 Systems acquired Fluid Power Inc. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Aerox Aviation O2 Systems acquires Fluid Power Inc. The parent company of Aerox Aviation Oxygen Systems has acquired Fluid Power, a manufacturer of military-type oxygen systems and components for the aviation industry. The acquisition broadens Aerox's line of aviation oxygen systems for military and specialty applications. Fluid Power complements the Aerox Aviation Oxygen product portfolio and allows both companies to provide the aerospace industry with integrated solutions and highly tailored oxygen components. The acquisition also allows Aerox to expand its customer base and provide a more comprehensive line of products. Airlander Airship Secures Additional Funding Hybrid Air Vehicles and Air Nostrum Group have agreed to double the number of Airlander II airship reservations to a total of 20 aircraft. Under the initial agreement announced in June 2022, Air Nostrum Group reserved 10 Airlander 10 aircraft with a 100-passenger configuration. Under the new agreement, Air Nostrum Group has reserved a further 10 Airlander aircraft for purpose of facilitating expansion of a planned airship network extending from Spain into the Mediterranean region to include Malta. Standard Aero Readies for Increased GoGo -Go Advance Upgrade Demand As GoGo -Go Business Aviation readies for its long-planned and widely anticipated network migration, Standard Aero, the Scottsdale, Arizona-based provider of aircraft maintenance repair and overhaul services, has dedicated capacity across the entirety of its enterprise to the upgrading of extant GoGo -Go Classic ATG airborne connectivity systems to GoGo's new Avance architecture. Having installed more than 455 GoGo -Go systems over its 19-year affiliation with the American provider of in-flight broadband internet connectivity services for business aircraft, Standard Aero ranks among GoGo's top installation and certification partners. Launch window announced for Galactic 3 mission. 
The launch window for Virgin Galactic's Galactic 3 mission, which, if successful, will mark the company's fourth space flight in four months, will open on September 8, 2023. The Galactic 3 crew comprises three Virgin Galactic founder astronauts, which is to say individuals whose belief in Virgin Galactic and early ticket purchases helped actualize the company's ambition to operate regular commercial space flights. The Galactic 3 crew purchased their tickets as early as 2005 and have since remained active in the community. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Piper Malibu M-Class Owners and Pilots Association rebrands. At its 2023 annual convention in Colorado Springs, the Malibu M-Class Owners and Pilots Association announced a rebranding to the Piper M-Class Owners and Pilots Association. Founded in 1998 and comprising upwards of 1,300 members, the association is a not-for-profit organization dedicated to the interests and safety of owners and pilots worldwide who fly PA-46 derivative aircraft. Piper Aircraft Vice President of Sales, Marketing, and Customer Service Ron Gunnarsson emphasized the strength of the relationship between PMOPA, its members, and Piper Aircraft, setting forth, quote, Every Piper PA-46 from the first Malibu in 1983 to the latest M600 SLS that rolled out of our paint shop this week is part of the M-Class family of aircraft. We are excited about PMOPA's rebranding and the strength of our relationship with PMOPA and its members." End quote. An assembly of nearly 300 attendees comprising owners, pilots, vendors, and other Piper PA-46 aircraft family stakeholders attended the PMOPA convention in Colorado Springs at which the rebranding was unveiled. The 2023 PMOPA convention encompassed two full days of educational content, programming, and networking events. Next year's PMOPA convention and fly-in is slated to convene on November 1, 2024 at Austin, Texas's JW Marriott Hotel. And after these messages, German Rotax fly-in sees wide turnout. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. German Rotax fly-in sees wide turnout. A Rotax-branded shindig at the Weisse Movavels airfield saw a strong turnout of almost 300 guests from across the continent and beyond. The numbers may not be eye-popping to an American audience accustomed to thousands of aircraft making a pilgrimage to whichever state is holding the biggest bash from one season to the other, but 130 aircraft and 280 attendees is solid work for a niche hobby in the EU. The turnout, quote, marked one of the best visited years for the event, end quote, according to Rotax, and it was held in their own backyard, no less. The usual flying stuff littered the field with demos and sales, trial flights, and a guided tour of the Rotax facility. Peter Olsinger, general manager of BRP Rotax and member of the management board, VP of sales, marketing, RPS business, and communications, said, quote, promoting exchanges within our community is of great importance to us. This allows us both as a company and as an industry to keep evolving. We see ourselves as an integral part of this special community. We are committed to continuing our dialogue with customers in the future, and fly-ins provide the ideal setting for such interactions. The success of the Rotax fly-in in Vels reinforces our decision to expand this concept internationally." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.